6.686 of time speed distance. Question 3. Two trains started simultaneously at 9 a.m. From A and B towards B and A. Both of them take 12 hours to reach their respective destination. The first train met with an accident and travelled at half its original speed thereafter. It reached the destination 10 hours late. Find the time when the two trains would meet. So as per the question, the trains from A and B both started at 9 a.m. And both of them take at their normal speed 12 hours to cover the journey. Or their initial speeds are the same. However, the first train met with an accident somewhere en route. So, accident happened here, let's say. And hence, it was delayed by 12 hours. So, the train moving in this direction was delayed by 10 hours. Okay. Find the time when the two trains would have met. Okay. The question also tells us that after the accident, the train travelled at half its original speed. Okay. Now, let me assume that the speed of the train starting from B be equal to 2 km per hour. So, obviously, speed of train A should also be 2 km per hour. After the accident, the train from A reduces the speed to half. So, its speed should be 1 km per hour. Now, since we have assumed the speed of the train to be 2 km per hour and the trains take 12 hours to cover the distance. That means the distance AB is equal to 24 km. Now, let us go to this item. That the first train gets delayed by 10 hours. If the first train is late by 10 hours, the entire delay would have happened after the accident. Now, since the speed has become half, that implies time should become twice so, if the speed has become half, time has to become twice. That means this distance over which the train has delayed itself by 10 hours, it should have covered this distance also in 10 hours. But it has now covered it in 10 plus 10, 20 hours. So, it has covered it in 20 hours. Since, now since the speed has become half, the time taken has become twice. Which means if the normal time for the train for a particular journey was t, now it will take 2 t hours. Or the difference between the two, 2t two minus t is nothing but the delay, which is equal to t. So, delay is equal to 10 hours. So, the distance, this has been covered by the train after accident at, uh, in 20 hours. This distance would have been covered in the normal speed at 10 hours. So, normal speed is this. It would have taken 10 hours. Now, it has taken 20 hours. So, in normal speed, it would have taken 10 hours. That means the accident happened 2 hours after it started. So, in the first two hours, at the speed of 2 km per hour, the train would have covered uh, 2 to the 4 km. Similarly, the other train would have also covered 4 km. So, we can say out of the 24 km covered, out of the 24 km distance of A and B, 4 plus 4 km, 8 km have been covered before the accident. So, after the accident, the distance to be covered is 16 kilometers. Okay. When, at what time did the accident take place? It took place 2 hours after 9 a.m. So, that means the accident took place at 11 a.m. Okay. Now, 16 kilometers have to be covered by the two trains at the speeds of 2 kilometers per hour and 1 kilometer per hour because after the accident, the first train will move at half the normal speed. So, at the speed of 3, so the effective speed is 2 plus 1. So, the time taken will be 16 by 3, which is equal to 5 hours and one third of an hour, which is 20 minutes. 5 hours, 20 minutes after, after what? After the accident. The accident happened at 11 a.m. After 11 a.m., it will take this much time more. So, what time did the accident take place? 11 plus 5, 16, which is 4, 420, 420 p.m is the correct answer. Again, you could have used the choices out here. If you look at the choices, had no accident taken place, the trains would have met at the midpoint of the, the journey, which means at 3 p.m. No accident means they would have met at 3 p.m. So, my answer now has to be more than 3 p.m. This is ruled out, this is ruled out. 
and you could have checked which of these two choices is correct. If none of them is correct, then obviously none of these becomes the answer.